Hey, uh, good morning or afternoon, whatever time you're watching this video. We're going to go over some of the um, proportional reasoning assignment. Uh, it's hopefully not too difficult, but I just wanted to show you a couple examples on there. I can answer more questions on it uh, later. So let's get into it. Uh, number one, we'll go with that one first. Hopefully, I'll mark that works. Number one says 100 centimeters are equivalent to one meter. We know that. So I like to do these conversions by doing 100 centimeters equals one meter. Kind of writing that down so I know that that's what's up. Uh, hopefully you can see that pretty well. Let me get a darker marker. Contrast a little bit maybe. All right. Um, actually, it's probably right a little bit bigger. I'll get to that. Um, how many centimeters are equivalent to three meters? And it's going to say, briefly explain how you convert uh, any number of meters into a number of centimeters. So I'm going to explain that live. You guys can write that down as much as you want, or you can write it out. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So we want to start with three meters. And we want to convert that to centimeters. Well, we've got our conversion, 100 centimeters to one meter. And we are going to want to... A little, bit, a little bit of that glare out of there. Um, 100 centimeters to a meter, and we've got three meters. Uh, and we want to next, we want to put our conversion factor. And usually, what we want to do is we put this as a fraction. And we put it as a fraction with the unit that we want to cancel out on the bottom. So I want to cancel out meters, and I want to end up with centimeters. So I'm going to multiply that. How many centimeters? That was 100 to every 1 meter. Now that's going to do the conversion to get me to centimeters. That's what I wanted. I can go here. I will end up with those two canceling out. And I got 3 times 100, which is, excuse me, 300 centimeters. All right, that is our answer. So you're gonna turn this light down even more. Oops, just turn it off. I think that might be better for the whiteboard stuff. Yeah, my face is a little shadowy, but that's okay. Uh, as long as you can see the whiteboard. So uh, that's number one. That's just a straight up conversion. There's a couple of those on there. Um, nothing that is too. Uh, crazy, but using this method, you can convert several times in a row if you need to. Just use the conversion factor and multiply as you go to cancel out whatever units that you don't need. All right, let's check out number That's the whole first page, even some more on the second page. Um, and then we get to the proportional ones on the back. So we've got a uh, number, actually we're going to go straight to number 11. So most of the ones on the front page are like this. I'm going to use the blue this time, I think that shows up a little bit better. Number 11. Uh, for each of the following mathematical relations, state what happens to the value of y when the following changes are made. All right, k is going to be a constant. So I start out with this function here. I've got y equals kx. Okay, and it's telling me what happens if x is tripled. All right, so how I like to do this is I like to go ahead and rewrite what I have here. And the x I like to put in, instead of x, it's tripled. So instead of x, it's going to be, I don't have any more choices for markers here. It's going to be 3x. Can you see that? Barely. That's not going to work. Let's do brown. Yeah, that's better. So. Instead of x, I got 3x because x was triple. Triple means 3, 3x. So I'm going to work with this side. This side um, is there. I got k 
Um, and I, remember, I can move the 3 out front, 3kx. So I've multiplied by 3. That's the difference here, right? Between the first beginning step and where I'm at now, I've multiplied the right side by 3. And we know math, we got to keep each side of the function um, balanced. So if it's 3 extra on one side, it's got to be 3 extra on the other side. So in other words, this side has to also be tripled to make everything balance. All right. Um, let's show you that I have to add that in there. So I have to add a 3 over here to balance. So in this case, the answer to the question, what happens to y? y is tripled. We'll do 11b as well, uh, just to give you another idea of how to go through these. Okay, we'll do that. I don't know why I'm putting wait time into a video. I'll go back and edit that. But. All right, 11b, we have y equals k over x and it says that what happens when x is halved all right x is halved that means that x is going to be half so i'm going to rewrite this again just like i did before and i'm going to put in one half x all right, now that one half's on the bottom, so um, I can go ahead and kind of clean this up a little bit. And I'm going to end up with um, half's on the bottom, so it actually becomes 2k over x. So this whole thing was multiplied by 2. So in that case, I need to multiply the other side by 2. That's going to make this side go up by 2 as well to stay balanced. Remember, they have to stay balanced. So I've got a 2 over here now. Got the 2 there, got the 2 there. It's the same as up top. Remember, we can't do much to change. If we change something on one side of an equation, we have to put it on the other side. So there's that. Uh, that means that in this case, y is doubled. So a little different than the last example. All right, this one you had a, a half on the bottom and it ended up being two on the top. That means we have doubled. All right, so y is multiplied by two. That's what doubled means. One other thing that I want to go over here is one other thing that I want to talk about is this directly proportional and um, uh, inversely proportional, that kind of stuff. So let's do that. Let's go direct. Directly proportional, that's when you have a relationship. All right, that is uh, both are going up. So as X increases, Y also increases. It could look something like this. Could look something like this. Um, either way, both are going up. Mm -hmm. All right, it's going up more and more and more left to right. Inversely proportional. Mm -hmm. Is where they go opposite directions. So as x goes up y goes down or the same thing the opposite of that you got those two types of lines or you could have something like this okay so either of those three inversely proportional uh, linear would be just a straight up line so we kind of already covered that in a previous video so that should be enough to get you through uh, that assignment um, proportional reasoning. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up on Remind. You know that. That's all.